Art is like oxygen. It's something I need to live. And in my world, there are two different types of art. There is tangible art and intangible art. So my tangible art is um, my drawings, paintings, weavings, my sculptures, my tiered wedding cakes, my stained glass windows, and my intangible art is my creativity. And that is something that I work on every single day. I grow it, I feed it, I nurture it, um, I go to art museums, I take classes, I work with different materials, I learn different techniques, I collaborate with other artists, and I make art. Um, and it's something that has to be grown. It, it's, not a, it's not a one and done, you know, you're not going to come in this art room and make one art project and walk out with creative confidence. Nope. Um, but it's something that I get to grow in my kids. The wonderful thing about teaching art at the elementary level is I get my students in kindergarten and I keep them until fifth grade. So I have six years to work on their creative confidence. And sometimes it does take years. And it is something that those students are going to use outside of this art room. They're going to use it more outside of this art room than they will inside this art room. Because that creative confidence, once it's built up, is going to be used on our stage in the auditorium. Um, it's going to be used out in the PE field. It's going to be used when they're working on a science project or making their science backboard or when they're wrapping a present or making their homemade Halloween costume or decorating their college dorm. Um, that creative confidence is going to be used everywhere in their life. My name is Karen Flanders, and I have been an art teacher here in Lee County for 31 years. Um, this is my 14th year here at Edison Park. Um, I am just so blessed to be teaching something that I love. I am a third generation uh, Floridian, and I am an art teacher because of my elementary art teacher. At the Fort Myers Beach Elementary School, um, it was a great school, but it was tough. I academically was not a strong student. In PE, woo, I could barely run the lap. I couldn't do the push-ups, could not do a pull-up to save my life. In the music class, I was in the, uh, the, the listening group. Um, that's how great my voice was. But in art, when I walked into Mrs. Nelson's art room at the Fort Myers Beach Elementary School, it was like my safe place. I, I was in heaven. Oh my gosh, it was like finally something I was really good at, something that I loved. Uh, it saved me. Uh, her art class saved me. She, she saw something in me and she grew it and she nurtured it. And she is the reason that I'm an art teacher. I went on to Benita Springs Middle School and took art. I went to Cyprus um, with Ms. Martin and took lots of art. And I just kept taking art, I kept building, I kept building, and here I am, 31 years later, still having fun with it. So, in this art room, we make it fun. Because if I make it fun at this elementary level, my students are gonna to wanna to take art in middle school, and they're going to want to take art in high school, and that's where the technical abilities really blossom. So my job is to make it fun. And, and that's what Mrs. Nelson did for me back at the Beach Elementary School. She made it fun. So if I can make it fun and make it a part of my students' lives, they're going to continue to run with it for as long as they can. And that's what happened when I brought my daughter here to this school. So I can speak as a parent and I can speak as a teacher. Once we got her to this school and we put her on that stage, and she danced, and she sang. And back when she was here, she had a choice. They said, hmm, do you want to play the violin or the cello? And she's like, I'll play the cello. So she played the cello all through elementary school. She played it up through high school. She went to London and toured with the symphony from Fort Myers High School. And she was not a music major. She was a science major. Um, but this school instilled the love of the arts in her. She was able to go on that stage and narrate. Um, the confidence that this school gave her was amazing. It was just priceless. In, in this art room, I encourage my kids to make mistakes. 
because that is the best learning experience. And, and, and the best place to make mistakes at the elementary level is in the art room because we can go in two different directions, I tell my students. So you make a mistake, oh man, well, you have a choice. You can work with that mistake and you can make it better and fix it and go in a different direction or you can look at that mistake and you can go, I've learned everything I can from this mistake. I am going to recycle this and I'm going to start over and go in a totally different direction. So I love when my kids make mistakes in here because they're going to grow from those mistakes and they're going to realize they can make them outside the art room too and it's still, it's still okay. That is the gift, one of the many gifts of the wonderful world of art. Every single student in this school is full of creativity. They are exploding with creativity. It might not be found in the art room. They might grow their creativity in the dance room, or they might grow their creativity in the theater, on the stage, or out at PE. Every single student has creativity, and it is our job to tap into that potential and figure out where can we grow their creativity? Where, where can we make that student feel so special and so important and, and loving their life? And that is what we are here for.